Off me. participated in the dynamic display that is the Wizard City Pet Pavilion? It's a captivating cavalcade of prodigious proportions. Near this very spot are fine vendors of pets and pet provender. That splendid structure over there is the hatchery. The Pet Derby offers all manner of enticing entertainments and delightful distractions for wizard and pet alike. Might I be of some service, educating you in matters relating to pets and their profound possibilities. The Wizard City Pet Pavilion has experts aplenty. They'll merrily monopolize your concentration with a wealth of useful information. Speak to all of them. You can start with my little green friend, Sir Nigel Higginbottom. He'll tell you more and set you upon the right path. Hello, wizard. Come to learn about training pets, have ye? Allow humble Nigel here to point you in the right direction. Over there you have the hatchery, where Dr. Perot can tell you all about developing your pet's abilities across generations. In these here shops you have Tennant and Lowe, who sell new pets and pet eggs, and Dusty and Jackie, who sell pet snacks. Go speak to each of the experts, and once your knowledge of pet raising is complete, I'll tell you how to win arena tickets by racing in the Pet Derby. And you can speak with my associate, Mr. Barker. What are you waiting for? Take a seat in the hatching machine and we'll get started. Where's the other pet? Oh, my mistake. You're not a pet. Serves me right for not paying attention. That would have been a disaster. This is the hatchery, where pets can hatch new pet eggs. It's a remarkable process. Simply stand on the seizure near the hatcher and choose two adult pets you'd like to use. Then press the hatch button. If two wizards want to collaborate, both must stand on the seizure. Each can contribute a single adult pet. When you both press the ready buttons, voila! A new egg! If two wizards work together, they'll hatch two eggs. The egg will take after one of the original pets. Which pet and which trait, who can say? Once the egg is hatched, your new pet is just a baby and needs to be trained and fed. You can train your pet with the mini games offered in the pet pavilion. As you train your pet, it grows older and will develop new talents and powers. Pet talents help you in magical duels, while derby powers are used in the pet derby. Some rare pets are extremely powerful, with astonishing abilities. I really must get back to my work, so unless you're ready to hatch a pet... Welcome to our shop. This is the finest assemblage of exotic pet eggs you'll find. We have an inventory that ranges all across the spiral. Indeed. You'll not find a better selection of pet eggs anywhere in Wizard City. The spiral, that is. Anywhere in the spiral. Really? I had no idea. Bro, because you're stupid. Snacks for your pet, whatever you need. 
game. After your pet completes a training game, it will be hungry. You can reward your pet with a tasty snack. The type of snack you feed it will increase its abilities in some fashion. The exact ability and how much it improves depend on the type of snack and how much your pet likes it. Different pets like different snacks, so you should try a variety of snacks and see what your pet likes best. And you will find a better selection of snacks anywhere in the spiral. Guaranteed. I trust that your tour of the grounds and its services was as entertaining as it was educational. As I mentioned previously, it is my honour to offer a wide variety of fine and unique items in trade for arena tickets. You'll earn arena tickets if your pet does well in the pet derby, or you'll receive gold as a consolation prize. You can use arena tickets to buy things here or from my friend Diego over on Unicorn Way. Mr. Barco will no doubt wish to regale you with information about the wonderful world of the pet turkey, so I won't detain you any further. Give me my food. Well there, my prodigious prestidigitator. What did you think of our pet pavilion? I trust that my admirable associates bent your ear enough. Now that you've seen what wonders the Pet Pavilion offers, I encourage you to take advantage of the ample assortment of delightful diversions to train your pets. Your energy governs how often you may train your pet. It returns over time, but if you need more energy and cannot abide, you may purchase an energy elixir from the Crown Shop. If you don't train your pet, it won't grow up. So it's very important to pay attention to your pet and train it as much as you can. If you've an interest in participating in the pet derby, I am just the fellow you need to speak to. Just a moment, though. Before I set your precious pet upon the perplexing paths of our pet derby, I must ask that you avail yourself of the information provided in the two rule books nearby. One of the books is generous with guidance about practice matches, while the other volume summarizes those that are ranked. Go and peruse them at your leisure, and stroll on back to me when you're sufficiently schooled. In the pet derby, you can race your pet in practice matches for fun, with nothing to gain or to lose. The practice pet derby is a good way to learn the course and obstacles for each different track, and see which track your pet is best suited for. In the ranked pet derby, your pet will race against other pets with prizes such as arena tickets or gold. The last place pet receives gold, while the other pets receive arena tickets. Money. Your pet's wins and losses are measured on your character sheet, and your pet will gain ranking in the pet derby based on its performance. Let me explain the basics of the pet derby so that I might enhance your experience. There's a lot to go over, so I recommend you make yourself comfortable and pay attention. Yes. Hey. Wallow always kept badgering me out with the phone, and I'm like, I just want to sleep. So what happened this morning? You good? Then I saw a couple of people, Mr. Owen. Owen? Owen, you know the guy that looks like Peyton oh, Manning? Really? How did you see him? He was at the library, and I was like, what the? Really? And Amanda Collins. Oh, okay. She was with her, and I didn't even know it. She has a thing on her foot. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and it goes up to her knee a little bit. Oh, she a leg or anything? I guess. I mean, I'm not a doctor, so... Uh, we did a lot of stuff, like... Um... Made, like, some fake resume a little bit. Kind of like... Ooh, I just want to get it laminated. Okay. So, you know, it's like, God forbid, like, instead of it, like... This well, can... you don't laminate a resume. You don't handle a laminated resume. I'm gonna forget that. Yeah. But you had a good day? Yeah. So what's next? Um, I'm gonna try like doing the restaurant stuff. Like, okay. Hope. So when is that gonna happen? She just said like a couple of weeks. No date. But okay, so she has to put it together. So. Yeah, I mean okay, it's not okay. her fault. I'm no, 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 no. She's, she's just getting to know you to figure out what, you know, so there's yeah. a process. Yeah. 
They exchange it because they had a good one or she was with the Charlie cast. I'm like, hey, what was you with the Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> it was just, I'm like, I, I, I hope she didn't get a shot though. Like no, I don't. I only cancel if, if I'm sick because I don't want to get anybody sick, especially yeah. with this going around. No. No, 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 no. You can race your pet in the pet derby by going to one of the two book pedestals in the pet pavilion. One is for practice matches, the other is for ranked derby races. Sick, sorry. Practice derby races are classed by easy, medium, hard, and epic. You can create a new match, or you can quick join a match that has already been created. Oh, God. You will see the cross swords icon in the upper right corner of your screen when your pet is in the queue for a pet derby race. When the race is ready, you will see a screen letting you go to the arena. The goal of the pet derby is to come in first. Steering your pet past obstacles and using your pet's derby powers against other pets. You can control your pet with the arrow or the WASD keys. It will go forward on the derby track automatically. Side arrows will make it switch lanes and the back arrow slows it. The up arrow cheers your pet, making it go faster. The space bar helps your pet bypass obstacles, jumping or ducking each hurdle. You must time it just right. Hitting an obstacle slows your pet. Your pet's position in the race is displayed in the upper left corner of the screen. Under the position number is your pet's time for the race and what lap of the race you are on. On the upper right corner of the screen, the racetrack shows flags indicating where all the pets are on the derby track. Your pet's flag is largest and its color matches the position number. Your pet has a resource called morale, displayed on the bar at the top center of the screen. Cheering your pet costs morale. Your pet gains morale when it successfully bypasses obstacles. Cheering costs different amounts of morale based on the terrain your pet is on. The cost is based on the terrain type and your pet's attributes. The attribute used has its icon next to the morale bar. Your pet's derby powers are the round icons in the top center of the screen just below the morale bar. You can click these with your mouse, or you can use the one, two, three, four, and five keys to activate them. Derby powers can boost your pet's performance, hinder other pets, put obstacles on the track, force pets to change lanes, or other tricks. You can mouse over a power's icon to see what it does. Effects on your pet appear as icons on either side of your pet. Helpful effects are on the left. Bad effects are on the right. A countdown timer shows how long each effect remains on your pet. Try to steer your pet through the floating stars. They will give your pet speed bonuses and give your pet temporary immunity from other pet powers. Avoid bombs and banana peels. Bombs will slow your pet down and banana peels will slow and cause your pet to change lanes. And now that you've done your homework, it's time to play. I'll wager you can barely contain your enthusiasm, so step right up, ready your pet, and let's go! Very old of me. Intrigued by the fantastic world of pets, young wizard? Yes. Avatar. But there's more to pets than snacks and games. They have special abilities. A good pet has eyes and ears, far more sensitive than yours or mine. They can sense things we can't. An ideal trick for any scavenger hunt. I buried metal rings in the common and the shopping district. Want to see if your pet can find them? Good hunting! This quest requires you to have a pet and guide it to each goal. If you have a pet, equip it from the pet tab in your spellbook. With the pet equipped, you can control it directly. Click the pet button on the bottom left of the screen, then press the pet mode button. Playing as your pet will make certain items and objectives available that weren't before. But likewise, pets can talk to most people or engage in wizard tools. You can play as your pet until its happiness runs out. Replenish happiness by feeding the pet snacks. Now use your pet to find those metal rings. <laughs> 